In 1952, Hershey and Chase created this experiment in order to find out what was the genetic agent in bacteriophages. During that time, many scientists were unsure what actually instructed cells to carry out their life-sustaining tasks. Scientists knew that chromosomes contained genes and that genes controlled what cells do. They also knew that chromosomes were made up of DNA and proteins, so they tested both to figure out what, which was actually the genetic agent. To do this, they first cultured T4 bacteriophages in two medias. One had the isotope 35 sulfur with E. coli. This is technically a lactobacillus, they don't have any E. coli, but it works. And the other had the isotope 32 phosphorus with E. coli. 35 sulfur would be able to show the proteins in the capsid, which is the outer portion of the bacteriophage, and 32 phosphorus would show the DNA inside of the bacteriophage because there is no sulfur in DNA nor any phosphorus in proteins. The phages were then allowed to replicate within the cells in the media so that they became labeled with 32 sulfur and 32, 35 sulfur and 32 phosphorus respectively. The labeled phages were kept separate and introduced to unlabeled E. coli and allowed to replicate for some time. The two cultures were then washed and buffered in centrifuge to see the results. And the results showed that the 35 sulfur was only found outside of some of the E. coli cells in the empty phages capsids, but not inside any of the cells, nor in any newly formed phages. The 32 phosphorus, however, was found inside the E. coli cells and some found inside of the progeny phages as well. This shows that DNA is the genetic agent for bacteriophages, since DNA is what actually goes into the cell and causes them to change. And also because some of the labeled DNA was in the progeny phages, showing the importance of that macromolecule.